So we just got in a big data download with some of the worldwide celebration stuff for Global and JP. So today we're going to go through that. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We also have the LR arts for the cooler and Goku at the end of the video. First of all, the most important thing is that we have a massive free-to-play buff, okay? We got the details for the Tiwa of the Awakening for Tech Cooler and the Goku and Gohan exchange unit. So that's, it's a huge, huge buff. I haven't seen the details yet, so I don't know how good they are, but they're coming out tomorrow. So I'm going to farm that over at twitch.tv forward slash jfan, the link in the description as always, and then post a video of me showcasing them throughout the following days. Of course, in their TUR forms to begin with, just so we know what we are expecting. So let's go through their details here. First off with the cooler, if you guys don't remember, it's this cooler here ages ago they released this guy and he was somewhat good as an SSR because he's a support and he raises defense infinitely. So when he awakens, he's going to be really good already because he's already, you know, getting a stat boost. He's already got the raised defense. You can't take away something that he's already gotten and um, they, they can only increase his stats up here, from here. So terrifying conquer leader for 50% and tech two key and 30%. This is obviously going to awaken EZA into a 77% leader and 50% tech leader. He raises defense and lowers the enemy's attack. So this is probably never going to change, unfortunately. This is probably his uh, permanent because I don't see them adding another mechanic to it. But I might be wrong. Uh, but this is still like a great mechanic to begin with. 80% attack and defense bonus with an additional 10% defense with each super attack performed up to 30%. That's awesome. And then terrifying conquerors um, support for 2 key and 30%. I actually wouldn't be surprised if this jumped to 40%. A lot of free-to-play cards are getting like 40% support. So although some of them are restricted a lot, um, free-to-play has been getting like a lot of good support units. So I wouldn't be surprised when they easy aid this will jump to 40%. And um, of course, I think everything's got to equal to about 150% attack and defense. So this will increase to probably like 120. Um, and, and then this will get to like 20% per super and up to like 50% or something. So that the calculations make it so that the uh, attack and defense is around 150%. That's usually how they do it. Of course, everything stays the same and the inclusion of shattering the limit. However, defense stat is still pretty low. So the EZA is still needed for about 8,000 defense-ish, depending on if you have skill orbs or whatever. So this is great. Uh, we definitely needed this. Now we have the Gohan Kid and Goku, which... Remember, it's Gohan Kid first, so he's going to get all of the categories and link skills of more for Gohan. As you can see from the categories, he's got a hybrid Saiyans. The other Gohan and Goku from the Cell Saga is a pure Saiyans because when they exchange, it's into um, the Goku. Now, of course, this is technically two cards, so we got to go through it, the details of um, both units here. So Bond of Parallel Child, I kind of put that in the pinned comment in yesterday's video. Um, two key, 50%. This is uh, going to be a first Bond of Parent Child leader skill for Global. And uh, they will be getting that early, which is great. Of course, this will be a 77%. Not like you needed it. Bond of Parent and Child have so many leader skills. So this is kind of useless. Still super attack, which is awesome. 80% uh, attack and defense, high chance of evading enemies attack, including super attacks for 5 turns from the start of the turn. Medium chance of evading enemies attack from the 6th turn. So just a huge dodging unit, uh, which it, it, I don't mind. I just realize he's physical. I don't think we really needed another physical, but it, what can be done? Uh, exchanges with another character can be activated after evade 6 or more enemies attack. That's a lot or when HP is 59% or less, starting from the fifth turn onwards. So let's look at the Goku now. Uh, Bond of Parent Child. So now his super attack raises attack for one turn, causes supreme damage to the enemy, recovers 30% HP, which is awesome. Always love that heal back. Attack and defense plus 100%, plus additional attack and defense for 30% for three turns after receiving an attack. Launch an additional attack that has a rare chance of becoming a super attack when there is a terrifying conqueror category enemy so i wouldn't say he's that good um the best thing is that you know his categories are just awesome for a lot of the free-to-play units so we go to um like hybrid saiyans like this is the biggest hybrid saiyan buff you can get because of goku being in the actual category you know uh the this gohan will have a goku to proc at least something in the hybrid saiyans team and then this Gohan and this Gohan 
both require Goku and now they can be ran on a Hybrid Saints team without a problem and it's not a bad unit. So that is awesome. As long as we got a Goku in the Hybrid Saiyans team for free to play, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. And hopefully the EZAs make them even more busted and maybe get an LR in there during the celebration, who knows. But uh, that's all we got for free to play as of today. Now, we had a little sneak peek of the LR art for Cool and Goku. So here it is. Looks very, very cool. Um, we had like a hint post the Butchigiri arts, which is exactly this. That was going to be the LR art. So uh, kudos to that man. Uh, uh, this is the TUR art. Uh, this is the art we saw in that banner from the V-Jump leaks. So that's cool. Um, hopefully, we don't know the details yet, but all the typing. So hopefully they are like broken, broken, like we all are expecting. And then we have some information on the um, new red zone event, which so far it has two um, fights with the freeze and cooler. Now, there is a part two in Worldwide Celebration, so they might add more stages here. But yeah, like I said in the last video, I just don't know what stage three um, and four could be if they added, um, if they add two more. Seven tickets for each mission done and five dragon stones. With the support memory, it's attack and defense plus 10% for all Wicked Bloodline category allies during the battle. It's pretty resemblance to the other, you know, uh, awesome red zone memories that we've gotten, like the permanent attack and defense buff. Key plus one for characters whose team name includes Cooler for seven turns from the start of the battle. We also got the um, start of the 50 summon ticket. So uh, it is different to the worldwide celebration ticket. And there are obviously missions for that to obviously to get that. And I assume there will be more uh, missions for the um, throughout the following celebration. And uh, this is the new wallpaper, which is okay, I guess. It's very colorful, I will say. <laughs> very pastel. Uh, I, I kind of like it, but some, for some reason, I kind of don't like it. it. It's very odd for me. And then we have some more Ultimate Red Zone missions. Now, this is for the GT one. I don't know if there's a Movie Bosses one, but now there's challenges in here where if you verse stage 7 with a with an extreme AGL type character, an extreme tech, an extreme int, an extreme SDR, an extreme physical, you will get an extra ticket to use and five Dragon Stones and vice versa for super typing. So making you run a rainbow team. So that's a little bit extra challenge, which is very cool. And there's also a turn limit one where you have to beat Brawly in seven turns, which is kind of crazy. So let's end things off with the worldwide celebration movie trailer, which once the celebration starts, this movie should be playing once you log in. Let's jump into it. This might have Goku and Cooler essays, maybe. All right. Freezing Goku. Have no idea what this says. But it's very epic. Pula. Freezes, brother. Alright, using STR, cool as animation. Like, I don't know how they're gonna top this. This was good in itself. It's gotta be like this crazy supernova. Oh, look at that. HD art right there. Oh, Goku. That's some Goku stuff right there. Interesting. That's probably their intro animation. That's my guess. I... Uh... This might also be an intro animation. Uh, that's my guess. I think this is... I don't remember if this is from STR Cool or not. I, I haven't used the card for ages. But it looks a little bit different. But it looks the same to me. So <laughs> I'm not too sure. But that's pretty much it for the data download. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on the free-to-play cards in the comment section down below. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.